Hi, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry from engineering to operations to large capital projects. I don't claim to know everything there is to know nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. If you have any suggestions of movies, TV shows, video games, etc., please uh, leave a suggestion for me below in the comments. If you like this video, uh, please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button if you would like to know when future videos are coming. If you didn't like this video, please let me know down in the comments. I'm all trying to improve. For today, we're going to be looking at the uh, nuclear explosion scene from uh, Terminator 2. Um, Terminator 2 is set in a horrific future where artificial intelligence um, took over the world and used nuclear weapons to uh, wipe out much of humanity. I will say this is graphic, so fewer discretion is advised. Let's take a look. Right away, we got the blinding flash from a nuclear explosion. If you look anywhere in that direction, you are going to go blind. At the very least, temporary, but it's far, far brighter than the sun. If you happen to be looking in whatever direction when a bomb goes off. I like that it goes right into it because most of these weapons are going to detonate. Um, you're not going to have any real warning or anything. No dramatic countdown. See the missile coming in because at its final velocity going far, far faster than the speed of sound. Um, so you're not going to see it. You're probably, you're not going to hear it suddenly. There's just going to be a flash. That right there is the thermal pulse. Shortly after the flash, your anything that can and will catch fire will catch fire. The uh, temperature from a nuclear blast, we're talking many thousands of degrees. Um, anything that's flammable will engulf in flame. Here comes the shockwave, traveling faster than the speed of sound. Any building too close, it's going to be either completely destroyed or most everything above ground level is going to be blown away. Kind of like a uh, toothpick facing a hurricane. Uh, the wind is very fast on the order of 1500 miles per hour plus. Yeah, it's uh, way worse than tornadoes, hurricanes, anything else with wind. And that pressure, um, all but the most strongest buildings will be destroyed by that pressure. It shows you how fast it is. The extreme temperature cooked the bodies to a crisp, uh, to ash, and then the shockwave comes and knocks them all away. Turns out it was all a dream. <laughs> Anyway, that, that last scene might have been a bit of an exaggeration, but it was clearly played for horror, be, seeing Sarah Connor's uh, skeleton <laughs> right before it gets shattered um, by the blast. Um, the other scene, though, um, with the uh, people getting burnt to a crisp and then their remains completely shattered. Yeah, um, they got the sequence of events uh, just right. The um, First, the blinding flash. Then the uh, then the thermal pulse and then the uh, then the shockwave. Truly a um, 
horrific weapon, um, and this is probably one of the best depictions I've seen of it in um, movies. They don't get into the uh, radioactive fallout that would also just um, contaminate anything that happens to be downwind of the blast, but there were so many nuclear weapons released in quote-unquote Judgment Day from the film. Um, the blast itself did plenty of damage, and again, this is probably one of the best depictions I've ever seen. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.